Hi everyone, it's Miss Manila. I'm coming on today to teach you how to send um, a picture of your work to your teacher in Class Dojo. You can do this on any device. I'm going to teach you how to do it on a cell phone now, but you can also use your tablets, your computers, your Chromebooks. So let's go ahead and get started. Go ahead and click the Class Dojo app to open it up. Once you select that, sometimes you'll go straight to your screen. Um, this is our class screen. What I want you to do is actually go up to the left hand corner and click on that back arrow and we're going to switch accounts here. So up at the top, um, you can see a circle with my name, um, my picture on it. That's This is my account. Um, your parents picture, your parents um, icon might be there. Go ahead and touch that circle up at the top and there's an arrow going down. And now you can see, you can view all of the accounts. Now here I, Miss Manila, I have a teacher account, I have a parent account, I have some student accounts. So for today, what I want you to do is I want you to click that arrow and I want you to find your name and under your name you're going to find student. That means that you are on your student account and that's how you can send things to your teacher from your student account. So I will be selecting demo student. I want you to click your name with student. Now. Here we are on our student account. Um, right under your um, student account name, you will find your teacher or your class um, name. I want you to select your class. So I'll be selecting Ms. Manila's first grade, but if you're in a different class, you're going to go ahead and select that. So just touch that. And now we're in our platform where we can send and complete assignments. So here there is a to-do list. If your teacher has sent you an assignment through Class Dojo, you will go ahead and look here and on your to-do list, you can select that activity and complete it. Today, I want to talk about how to send something. So if we scroll down, you will see that you have drafts, maybe some practice sending or completed. If your parent has sent something to your teacher, or your teacher has sent you something, it might pop up here as well. This is where we save everything. It's a portfolio. Now you will also be able to see stories and click on all of our work. Um, the blue ones, remember, are links that will take you to different videos that we want you to complete. But today let's go back and um, right under completed, you're going to click on create new. I want to create a new message for my teacher. So go ahead and tap create new and up will pop up four different icons. Um, here's where you can send a journal message is typing a sentence, um, using your keyboard to type, write something to your teacher and send it. You can also record a video. Maybe you wanna record yourself reading your writing today, explaining a math problem. You can do that and send it to your teacher. Also, there is a drawing um, component where you will use your finger to draw on your phone and send something to your teacher. And last, um, this is what we're going to talk about today, is um, clicking on the photo so we can take a picture of our work and send it over so our teacher can approve it. So go ahead and select the photo, the camera, and up will pop your camera. And if you have something that you want to send, all you do is line it up so you can capture it. You will be selecting that circle to take the picture. But if you already took the picture on your camera or your device camera, you can see that icon with the mountains and the sun. You will click that and up will pop up all your pictures where you can select from. But let's go ahead and take the picture. So we're going to just press that circle to capture. Now you see a gray arrow. That gray arrow tells us, okay, this is, I'm sure this is the picture I want to send. So I'm going to click that gray um, circle with the arrow with the check mark, sorry. And up will pop up here. You can, you can type, you can type a message, say Miss Manila, here's my work. You can say the date. Maybe you want to say, oh, this is from 519, 2020. Um, you could also click um, that circle, the red circle with the microphone, and you can record something. And you can say, you can read your writing to your teacher, you can record your explanation for your math. Um, that is up to you. And you will also see that paintbrush. The paintbrush is also a tool. If you select that, um, up will pop up a stylus where you can write, maybe you want to write your name, you want to circle something, 
you can go ahead and do that with the paintbrush tool. Now once you have your picture the way you want it and your message the way you want it, all you have to do is click that um, blue circle with the arrow. We're going to click that now and it is sending to your teacher. Now up will pop up this pending. That means that you've sent it to your teacher and your teacher hasn't opened it and approved it yet. Once it becomes approved, then it, that pending um, label will go away and um, you, it'll stay here in your portfolio. So all of your work will live here. It'll stay here with your collection. It's like a collection of your work. Um, right under drafts, if you practice on something and you didn't like it, all you can do, see this was a practice from earlier, all you, can do, all you need to do is type it, click the trash can, and do I want to discard it? Do I want to get rid of it? Yes. And it goes away. Now, um, if your teacher has sent you something under the to-do list, what you can do there is you can just click on, this is your assignment. How are you feeling today? People have lots of feelings. You can press start and you can complete that assignment, whatever it is. So remember, if you want to send your teacher a picture, all you do is click create new, choose the photo, take your picture, press the circle with the check mark, you can type, you can write your message, or you can just send it and it will be sending to your teacher and it'll come up as pending. Boys and girls, I hope this video helped you um, learn how to send a uh, video on, or sorry, I hope it helped you send a photo on Class Dojo, and I want you to start trying it out.